when Yuan Hongbin was a law professor at Beijing University in the 1980s. He befriended some CCP officials and Red Princelings, and was introduced to Xi Jinping by son of a former leader. The young professor and Xi Jinping were drinking buddies for eight months. Professor Yuan recently published a book predicting an imminent war in the Taiwan Strait. In an interview, he described the real Xi Jinping, whom the world hasn't known. His unique insights into the psychology and mindset of the CCP leader are extremely valuable in helping us assess the war risks in the Taiwan Strait. Hello, welcome to Lei's Real Talk. I'm Lei. By the end of the 1980s, the last chairman of CCP, Hu Yaobang, was removed from power. His liberal ideas offended Deng Xiaoping and other party elders, after whose downfall, Professor Yuan Hongbin was one of the two dozen young professors at Beijing University who had the idea of getting close to the top leadership. Their goal was to obtain power so as to continue Hu Yaobang's liberal ideas and promote ideological freedom. In reaching out to the power circles of Beijing, Professor Yuan befriended some officials and their children. At that time, Xi Jinping was a municipal level official in Xiamen. Deng Xiaoping had just reprimanded his father for being supportive of Hu Yaobang, and the senior Xi was suffering from a mental breakdown. One of the people Xi Jinping frequently visited in Beijing was Hu Deping, the eldest son of Hu Yaobang. Junior Hu introduced Xi Jinping and Professor Yuan because they shared a hobby, drinking. When Xi Jinping met the professor, he brought two bottles of Mao Tai, China's most famed liquor, which is 120 proof. In return, Yuan provided the food. He often invited Xi to eat at a restaurant called the Long March near the southwest entrance of Beijing University. The professor said Xi Jinping appeared low key, quiet, easygoing, and humble when he didn't drink. But once he had down half a bottle of Mao Tai, he changed into someone else. <音>把自己的真实想法呢深深地隐藏起来 so what is the real Xi Jinping like? What did he say after drinking that revealed his political ideas and vision? 
The professor gave two examples in which she expressed his opinions after drinking, and those opinions are still relevant today. The first is about the Chinese population, which many Chinese scholars at the time believed was too large. Yeah. Xi Jinping's other opinion that made a lasting impact on the professor was his view on war. It prompted the professor to write his book predicting an imminent war in the Taiwan Strait. Before I get into that, I'd like to tell you about my newest sponsor, Masterworks. The economy has slowed down worldwide. The S&P 500 has cratered, wiping billions of dollars from investors' portfolios. Savvy investors aren't letting their money waste away in savings accounts. They are pouring hundreds of millions into assets that can still climb when stocks fall. Masterworks is a platform dealing in these same assets. The company securitizes blue chip paintings with the SEC, allowing people like you and me to invest in shares of them. Once they sell a painting again, you'll get your share of the potential profit. And in every one of the 13 exits so far, Masterworks delivered a positive net return. Its offerings have sold out in hours and even minutes but you can get priority access through the link below. Let me now talk about Xi Jinping's view on war. Professor Yuan had a friend named Bai Enpei, a local official studying at the CCP's Central Party School in Beijing. Once, the professor invited Xi Jinping to Bai's dormitory to drink. However, the three men's conversation about a battle during the Sino-Korean War turned ugly. Mm.这个白恩培呢，他有个观点，他说他认为啊，长情不战役地久兵团呢，宋时轮的地久兵团，在十五万大军啊，在没有充分的御寒衣服的情况下，就被赶入到了派遣到了这个零下二十多度的
and that his motivation for war against Taiwan is to promote communism globally. 对，而且他复兴共产主义运动的方式呢，就是推动啊共产集权主义全球扩张。而台湾呢，正好处于习近平共产集权主义全球扩张这个咽喉要道之上，因此呢，习近平发动台海战争是不可避免。像这个美国的参谋长联席会议米米利上将，他判断什么？二零二七年中共才会具备攻打台湾的能力。他的判断是什么？他的判断无非是一些什么？有多少支军舰啦？有有没有这个多少枚导弹啦？有多少枚这个登陆作战的这个器具啦？等等，他是从这种军事机械论的角度来思考问题，他不懂得中共的这种。In 1955, when meeting with Soviet representatives, Mao Zedong said, "A world war isn't a terrible thing. The result of World War One was that a socialist state was born. The result of World War Two was a socialist camp was developed. If World War Three breaks out, we'll revolutionize the whole world." The professor calls Xi Jinping a mini version of Mao Zedong. Who shares Mao's war philosophy? Mao told Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev in 1955, "If World War III breaks out, I suggest that the Soviet Union pretends to sit on the sidelines, while I lead the Chinese people to draw the Americans into China. We'll fight conventional warfare and let the war expand and snowball. We'll pretend to be defeated to draw American troops further into China's interior, into a sea of the people." This will force the United States to send its main forces to China. At that point, I'd ask the Soviet Union to drop atomic bombs on China to wipe out the main American forces in one swoop. This will probably kill 400 million Chinese, but it's worth sacrificing two thirds of China's population in exchange for a world of common destiny. The professor believes a war in the Taiwan Strait as early as 2025 is unavoidable. He said that dictators make irrational war decisions. During World War II, military experts predicted that Hitler wouldn't invade the Soviet Union because it was stupid to fight on two fronts. But Hitler did, and this led to his downfall. During the Korean War, Americans believed that Mao Zedong wouldn't send troops to Korea because the PLA had no air force or navy. But only a backward army. But they were wrong. Mao sent one million PLA troops to Korea, with hundreds of thousands of them killed. These two examples show that dictators' decisions for war are not based on rationality and logic, but on their personal will. I hope this video is helpful for us to understand who Xi Jinping is. That's all for today. Please like, share the video, and subscribe for more.